Hey guys, I hope everyone out there is safe and doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I'm going to show you what I do with the Dollar Tree shower curtain liners. Instead of going to Walmart or hardware store and getting a tarp. Um, I mean, I know with a tarp you can use it over and over and over and over. Uh, you can also use these over and over and over and over, but you just have to let them dry overnight. Um, I just lay them on the ground and I use them to... Uh, spray paint some projects of mine so instead of going to get a tarp you can go to Dollar Tree get a shower curtain liner and use it and put it on the ground totally flat make sure there's no wrinkles or anything like that and just spray paint okay and um, it helps out a lot and you don't have to stain your concrete you don't have to stain your um, your grass you know, and um, you don't have to track it throughout the house if you accidentally step on the grass. And we don't want to do that to the plants. So um, if you you can use this over and over and over again, you just have to let it uh, let it out flat. Let it. I would let it dry overnight, and then um, just fold it back up and use it when you uh, go to do another DIY project. Um, but if you don't want to do all that, you could just throw it away. It's only a dollar. So hope this helps. They're not only for use in the shower. You can use them for projects. You can use them if you're painting. You can lay, lay it down on the ground if you're on a budget. Okay. Or, you know, you could just save yourself a couple of dollars and go get a tarp. I mean, like I said, you can also use these over and over and over again. They're, they're a good thickness. They're not like paper, paper thin. Okay. This is a pretty good thickness. All right, it's not like paper thin. I can't even see through it. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.